last lecture we will discuss about how to analyze the beam so it is already discussed in the last lecture in and in the last to last lecture that whenever we have to analyze any beam we have two methods first one is static method and second one is kinematic method okay now it is already discussed that there is kinematic method in our syllabus so first of all we will already discuss about steps of determining the collapse load or plastic moments with the help of kinematic method okay so after that in the last lecture we will discuss about one derivation and this and the derivation is find out collapse load which is equal to denoted by wc or plastic moment which is denoted by mp for simply supported beam carrying a concentrated load at a distance small a from left support okay so after completing this derivation our final answer is in the form of wc it is mpl divided by ab okay and if the plastic moment is asked in your exam then you have to make mp is your subject and your final answer of mp is equal to wc ab by so we will cover up we will cover our, our lecture up to this point okay so now we are moving further to the next derivation so the next derivation is find out collapse load which is denoted by wc or plastic moment which is denoted by mp for simply supported beam carrying a concentrated load concentrated load so it is also called as point load at the center of span okay so students as it is already already written in the question that the beam is simply supported beam so you all know that in simply supported beam your both the ends or your both the supports are simple so you can see that in this figure this is your simply supported beam in which your left support is hinge support and your right support is roller support okay now this simply supported beam carry a concentrated load okay so the value of concentrated load is w okay now in this question you can see that this w is denoted by wc because if the load is beyond this limit then this beam is fail okay so you have to consider that this concentrated load is your maximum load so as per the data given in the question your figure is ready now okay and it is already mentioned that this concentrated load is acting at the center okay now you can see that your total length of beam is l so whenever any load is acting at the center then both the distance are same so you can see that in this figure your left distance is l by 2 and your right distance is also l by 2 now after completing this figure your first step is to find out number of redundancy okay so what is the equation of number of redundancy so it is capital r minus small r now what is capital r capital r is number of reactions so you all know that for the hinge support the value of capital r is equal to 2 it is vertical and horizontal and for a roller support the value of capital r is equal to 1 now for whole the systems your total value of capital r is equal to 3 now after calculating capital r you have to find out small r now you all know that what is small r your small r is number of equilibrium conditions which is equal to 3 so after calculating capital r and small r you have to find out number of redundancy which is equal to 
capital R minus small r. So your final answer is zero. Okay. Next. So this is the end of your step number one. Your step number two is number of plastic moment is equal to number of redundancy plus one. So your number of redundancy value is zero. So zero plus one is equal to one. It means in this whole the systems there is only one point which takes moment okay so simple this is hinge support and hinge support only restrain vertical force and horizontal force it don't restrain rotations second one is second support is roller support so roller support restrain only vertical force it don't it do it don't restrain horizontal force and rotation it means this one value it means in this system is that point where the point load is acting okay so now this is the end of your step number one and step number two so after that your step number three is find out the collapse load or plastic moment with the help of kinematic method and in kinematic method you have to find out external work done and internal work done okay so for external work done and internal work done first of all you have to find out deflection shape of the figure so you can see that this is the given data figure after this this is your deflection figure okay so you can see that your point load is acting at the center if this point load is acting at the center then this both the values is l by 2 l by 2 if distance is same then the deflection angle is also same it means you can see that this deflection angle is theta and this deflection angle is also theta now this angle is theta and this angle is theta then the total deflection angle which is generated at the center it is equal to summation of both the angles so it is theta plus theta which is equal to 2 theta okay now after calculating deflection angle we are moving further to find out external work done and internal work done so this is your deflection shape and in which you are already know that at this point it is hinge support so hinge support doesn't take moment at this support it is roller support it is also doesn't take moment so this moment is your plastic moment so it is denoted by MP now external work done so what is the equation of external work done so it is load into this deflection so this deflection is distance into angle so it is l by 2 into theta it means your external work done is equal to wc l by 2 into theta now the term is internal work done so internal work done means at this point any moment no any moment is there so it is zero plus at this point the moment is mp into total deflection angle it at this point is 2 theta okay so at this point it is mp into theta plus theta which is equal to 2 theta and at this point there is no any moment is there so total internal work done is mp into t 2 theta now 2 is constant so this term is also written as 2 mp theta now after calculating external work done and internal work done you have to equate both the values but you can see that your external work done is in the form of theta and your internal work done is also in the form of theta so this is the reason why you have to equate both the term directly okay so your external work done is equal to internal work done so your external work done value is wc l theta by 2 is equal to mp into 2 theta okay 
now theta theta is cancel now if in the gtu it is clearly mentioned that find out collapse load so you have to made wc is your subject and if in the exam it is clearly mentioned that find out plastic moment so you have to make out your mp is your subject okay so students this is the end of case number 2 now we are moving further to the case number 3 in which the question is find out collapse load or plastic moment for prop cantilever beam okay carrying a concentrated load capital w at a distance small a from left support now what is the difference between case number 1 and case number 3 so it is type of beam okay in which in case number 1 it is simply supported beam and in case number 3 it is prop cantilever now as per data given in the question you can see that for prop cantilever beam in which your one support is fixed support and another support is simple support so it is assume as hinge support now for prop cantilever beam carrying a point load okay concentrated load is also called as point load so this is your point load it is a distance of small a from left support so as per data given in the question your figure is ready now okay so now first of all you have to find out number of redundancy and the equation of number of redundancy is capital r minus small r now what is the value of capital r for this support it is equal to 3 for hinge support is equal to 2 so 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so your total value of capital r is equal to 5 but it is already discussed that if both the support restrain horizontal force then you have to neglect it okay so your value of capital r nad is equal to 3 because you have to neglect both the horizontal forces so it is 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 now your small r okay small r is number of equilibrium conditions which is equal to 3 but if you are neglecting your horizontal forces then it is compulsory to neglect the equilibrium condition which is used for horizontal force so if you are neglecting the equilibrium condition of horizontal forces then it is 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 okay so after finding out capital r nad and small r nad your number of redundancy equation is 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 and after calculating number of redundancy the next step is to find out number of plastic moment and the equation is number of redundancy plus 1 so it is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 it means there is two points in this system which takes moment and it is clearly mentioned that yes this is fixed support and fixed support is always restrain the moments at this point yes obviously at the point of load it is obviously you have to restrain the moment and this is your hinge support so hinge support is release the moment okay so in this system there is two point and that point is at the point of load and at the fixed support okay after calculating first two step now we are moving further to the third step which is equal to kinematic method in which first of all you have to find out deflection shape okay so this deflection shape is just a revision in which you can see that your point load is not acting at the center so you can see that this distance and this distance is different so if your distance is different then your deflection angle is also different so this deflection angle is theta and this deflection angle is theta 1 now this is your fixed support so it takes moment yes so you can see that 
at this point some plastic moments are generated at this point yes it is also plastic moments are generated and this is your hinge support which release the moment so at this point the moment is zero now after calculating this deflection shape first of all you have to find out this deflection value so this deflection value is a theta if we are calculating from left side if we are calculating from right side so this is the equation and it is b into theta 1 okay now this point is intersect if this both the deflection is same it means your a theta is equal to b theta 1 so there is one relation between theta and theta 1 okay now after calculating this relation next step is to find out external work done so it is load into deflection so you can see that load is your wc and this deflection value is a theta so it is wc into a theta okay now the next term is internal work done so the equation of internal work done is moment into deflection angle at that point so you can see that mp into theta plus mp into what is the value of total deflection at this point so it is theta plus theta 1 and at this point it is equal to 0 so total internal work done is mp theta plus mp theta plus theta 1 now you can see that the term is theta 1 so you have to convert theta 1 to theta with the help of this relation so you can see that your value of theta 1 is a theta by b so you have to put down your value of theta 1 into this equation so you can see that it is mp theta plus a theta by b okay now mp theta is common so it is 1 plus l theta by b so after calculating all the values your final answer is mp theta in the bracket l plus b by b okay so now you can see that your this term is in the form of theta and your this term is also in the form of theta now you have to equate both the values and you will get your answer of wc or mp whichever is asked in your gtu exam okay so students this is the end of your today's session in which we have to calculate two cases one is for simply supported and second one is for prop can deliver so students this is the end of today's session thank you